Hi guys, how you doing out there? David the Humble Trekker Channel. A little bit different today, out of the woods. Let's check out one of these. One of these newfangled LED road flares. I picked this up from the shop called the Veo Store in Sweden for about $25. I'm not sure how available it is around the world. I'll include the link to that store down below in the description box. But if they don't ship to where you live, you just have to Google around to find the same thing. The purpose of this LED flare is as a warning light. So it's something you keep in your car, in your glove compartment or your boot. If you break down, if you get in an accident, you put it out, you chuck it down on the, on the road or you attach it to your car so you make yourself well visible. It's a clear Perspex disc or puck with LED lights all the way, going all the way around it. And then it's covered in a rubber, a hard rubber coating and there's a small hole there, I guess, so you can try and hang it up if you want to. It's magnetic, so you can attach it to your car. There's one action button on the outside. There's 16 LED lights around the outside and there's nine different modes. Let's go through the modes. The first one is rotating. This has got a nine hour duration with a full charged battery. Next mode is called a short strobe blink. This also has a nine hour duration with a fully charged battery. The next one is called blink. This has got a 60 hour duration. The next one is called alternating blink. So now each of the 16 strobes is alternating and blinking. This has got a nine hour lifetime. The next mode is SOS. So this is doing dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. This has got a 14 hour lifetime. One more click. Now all the lights are on permanently. That's got a five hour duration. One more click and then it actually reduces the, uh, the power to the LEDs. So this is all the LEDs on, but it gives you a longer lifetime. That's 35 hours. The next one, two LEDs come on down here so you can just use it as a flashlight. That's got a nine hour duration. And then one more click and four LEDs come on so you can use it as a brighter spotlight and that's got a six hour duration. It's rechargeable battery, it comes with a USB recharger and the USB recharger module, it looks like this and attaches to the, the backside just like that, also magnetic. A device such as this obviously has to be reliable and work in very harsh conditions. It said it's, uh, it's bump proof and it's waterproof and when I saw the fire guys out using these when the first time I saw it, they were literally just tossing them across the road. So, trying to get down to some hard testing on this. I'm going to be chucking it around, throwing it in some water, see if it carries on working, and then right at the end I'm going to be running it over, and hopefully it'll still be working after that. So let's get down to a bit of uh, business. Let's start off with a bit of gentle bowling. It's looking good. There we go. Incoming. Check if it's waterproof. Uh, go on, mate. Oh, you're still flashing. Chuck some snow on it. What do you say? The stamp test. jumped into my car, not because I'm worried about this, but because I'm worried about my actual video camera, because it's very wet snow that's coming down on it, and I'm worried about that getting damaged. So you see me roll it around a bit, farting up in the air, stamp on it, chuck water on it, it's still working, but then obviously, chucking water on it, you want to really want to see, give it a bit of time to see if it's actually going to break in the long run. So I'm going to bring it out when it's dark, and then showing you the actual illumination in the darkness, so you can see that coming. But before I do that, I'm actually very confident that you, I will be able to run this over and not break it. So I'm going to put this under the back wheel and I'm going to take the old uh, bug out vehicle over it. I've got it in place. These are actually studded winter tyres. So it makes it a little bit more medieval torture on the pure flare LED puck. 
I'm going to jump in the uh, bug out Renault and drive it over. Are you kidding me? This thing is a beast. Chucked around, stamped on, bowled, slung across the, uh, the car park here, and now run over. And then it lives to tell the tale. I'm going to give this the massive humble trek a thumbs up. If you want to stick around and see it working in the dark, hang on watching this video because now you're going to see it in the darkness. After that testing, there was no visible damage, I mean, significant damage. To the LED puck there was just a few superficial scratches on the rubber but obviously that doesn't mean it wasn't cracked internally or there were some cracks on that perspex puck which could be allowing water to seep in so what I did to test that is I've dropped it in a bucket of water for a couple of hours and now I've come out in the evening so it's been in this bucket for a couple of hours and it's still flashing strong so I'm pretty confident it's uh, not at all damaged by being run over we're not going to get great pictures tonight guys because my camera's not up to it but here I've got it flashing, so you can see I'm about uh, 50 metres away. Here it's on the strobe setting. Here I've moved back about 100 metres. SOS, come and get me. I'm lost. Right, time to say goodnight guys. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate everybody that drops in. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing because that supports the channel greatly. Thanks so much, and I'll see you later.